What's up guys, I'm back and here we are, next episode of Army Men, and back at the Tan Hideout. So, on to business. Sid finally snapped the losing streak last episode, he finally won again. But, I do remember now, there was something that I didn't include in it that I was going to. In the episode prior to that, the last episode of that losing streak, Sid made a deal with the clone Sid on his help. On what to do to win with these special tactics. So I will put that into use here. Except it won't be for trying to snap the losing streak this time. In this case it will hopefully help Sid get a win streak going. Because if he's able to win this. He'll be at two wins in a row. After finally winning last time. And another thing to talk about. As I've already mentioned. The Halloween battle is going to at least be moved to Saturday because Sunday I'm going to the fair. I talked about that in the last cartoon review videos that I did in that first one. Sunday, which is the day of Halloween, I'm going to this fair and such, so I won't be able to do it on that day. So I'm going to do the Halloween battle on Saturday the 30th. So hopefully things can still go well there. So... With that in mind, this is the last episode where the anti-Hulk serum's in place because as soon as Saturday comes in the next episode, Sid will finally be able to turn into Sid Hulk again. So that whole month-long wait is going to finally be over for him. And yes, as you can see in some of the opening shots, there's been some movements in this room again. That white shelf is now right here. The thing I do like about it being right there though is, is that now with the snipers, they're close enough to the whole battle. So I'll only have to do it like that. And this big hutch right here was moved into the room last night. And as I mentioned, the cartoon review stuff, the angle won't change once again, where I'll just have to open that up. And in one of the spots where there's these cubbies, in the little middle bottom cubby is where I'll set the phone. And then I'll have something in there to hold it up. So I'll put that to the test tomorrow, come Friday for the next cartoon reviews. And then... Saturday will be our Halloween battle instead of Sunday because of going to the fair. Even if it's on the 30th, and I'm not too bothered by doing it on the 30th, at least it's close enough. So, yeah. And let's get into this. Back at the hideout, boys. We're finally, in the last episode, we broke the losing streak. Well, except we weren't here when we broke that losing streak. We were up on that shelf, which is now right here. Yes, I know. But it felt good to finally win again, although one of you was trying to ruin that post-victory celebration. And, um, David, I gotta do something for a bit real quick, so if you don't mind waiting, um, okay... And now he's right there with the clone Sid. The clone Sid is right there near his helicopter too, so that way they can have their secret little meetings. Alright. Alright, clone. I may have forgot about you in the last one of the tactics, but I still managed to win. But we can still put your stuff to use here, because maybe we could still do it as a way to get our win streak going. Ours? Well, we're only teaming up for this occasion, I guess. Well, my win streak... To get it going, so I will put your tactics to use, but they better work. Because if I lose this battle, I'm never going to do any of these kind of deals with you again. Alright, whatever you say. But, got everything set up. Yep, there's a sniper right there. Put the special bombings into use at the right time. So, let's just get over there. I gotta get over there and get ready. Good luck. Alright, I'm ready, let's do this. Okay, said Podolak. Can't believe I'm still having to call you that. Well, it's good that you are. Let's do this. Ah, oh, shit. David wins the first dice roll. Oh, no, not a good start. And I think I won the first dice roll in the last one. You only got a one. And yep, got the separate reinforcements piles to each color, so just like I started doing in the last one. Yeah, it's looking a bit cloudy out there. Maybe that's making the room a bit darker, so I'll go ahead and turn this on. That should hopefully help things. And I'll move it over. Oh, 
Oh, now I win that one with the high E number reversal. Six of them. That puts us in the lead. Yeah, we are doing good so far. Yes. Another six. Get them little bitches out of here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're trying to do spill on the floor. Get ready, boys. He might start acting cocky again. Wow, I'm winning more dice rolls. You've only won the first dice roll, and even then, you only killed one guy. Four. Easy victory for me again. I'm going to get to two in a row. Not if he's acting like that, man. Take that in note, even though, yeah, I've told you about this plenty of times. Probably hasn't heard any of this yet. Oh, double. Triple. Oh, shit. And the next dodge roll you have to win is a triple. Six and three, that's 18. Make that 19 in total, including the one guy on the first dice roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Oh my god. Great, you got lucky on that one, David. Set up some guys first, then we'll snipe. So yep, here we go. First sniping action of the battle. We gotta get more on this loan and earn that gold card. Gold card? It's gonna be my special ticket to show that I'm a VIP. I'm definitely the VIP of this area. Snipe. Oh crap, he's got a sniper again. Well, it looks like David's already found out about it. Yeah, I've gotten used to him having a sniper, man. Of course, he's trying his tactics. Oh, come on! You only got a one, so back to getting the one. Yeah, and I do remember, surprisingly, you did not land on a one on any of your killing rolls in the last one, so you didn't make any crazy sound only one freakouts. Yeah, actually, that was kind of surprising. I'm even surprised myself that I didn't do it. It could be back in this one, though. Well, it's only landed on yours so far. On the killing rolls. Yeah, I landed on ones in the battle, but that was for the trying to get the higher number roll. But I didn't land on it for the killing rolls. Or I might have at some points, but it was doubles. Or I don't know, I probably didn't. But I don't remember making any crazy sound, only one freakouts. That could be back in this one, though. Oh, double. Oh, and now you get a double. One, that's two. That triple is about the only good dice roll you've had so far because your other dice rolls you've won, including this double, have been low numbers. It ain't over yet, though. I could still catch up and win. I have pointed out we each have done comeback victories. Yes, I'll admit you've done some before, too. But I can too, Sid. You can't forget that. I'm not forgetting it. 
back to me winning it. Six. Didn't get it there. He's going to get that one eventually, guys. There's no way he's going to be able to go a long time without getting it. Although he avoided it in the last episode. But he's going to get it again at some point. And he'll start making those lovely, crazy sounds again. Another high number reversal goes to me. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have most of the tactics in since I'm doing so well. I keep getting sixes. This battle's definitely going to go to me. I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to win this one. I don't give a fuck what you say about it being cocky, David. If I'm going to continue getting rules like this throughout it, then I'm definitely going to win. And get to two in a row. After that eight episode losing streak I was on. Finally broke it in the last one. Now it's time for the better streak for me. While you get that losing streak. Where by the time I do lose another battle. I'll have that whole win streak record. Because like I said. We both have hit 12 before. I believe we both have hit 12 before. But I want to be the sole record owner. Another six. What did I tell you? This could be the chance to break out. And there's some of a reference to the song The Taste of Ink by The Used. I have not referenced The Used before in any of these. So, there's one from that band. It keeps, uh, it keeps landing on sixes. I don't know what is going on with it. Some of the battles I've done here as of late, it keeps landing on some of the same numbers. Like, is there something on the surface of this knife stand or something? This table? I might as well keep going with it. Maybe at least once the men start clearing down, that is if Dave can kill any more of Sid's. Then we should have some easier chances for different numbers on dice rolls. Like, I'm telling you, if it continues at this rate, I'm going to win, David. Yeah, but what about when you're down to only a few of my guys left, and you actually need less than a six, and you keep landing on it there? Well, it's going to change up at some point. I know it's not going to land on it every single time. But I can definitely say I am in the lead. You have not led a single turn yet, I don't think. Even that triple you got, you were at least probably even with me. Or slightly behind. Yeah, but I did lead turns in the last one, but you still lost. You still lost the last one despite leading turns. And this one, look at that. You're already down to only six guys left in your reinforcement pile. And look at the bag. Look how many viewers in there of your greens. Compared to my tans. That's still a good amount in there. Yeah, only because of that triple. That's the only reason there's that many in there. Other than that, you haven't gotten jack shit. Oh, I won that dice roll though. Watch you get a low number again. Fucking told you, you keep getting ones. That's gonna change eventually, said. Well, I'm going to get higher numbers than ones. I'm not going to get it every single time. Yeah, so what? Ah, oh, shit. David got a five. Roll SIDS again. Oh, damn it. Didn't get a one that time. Got a three. Now I get the high number reversal on your ass. Oh, fuck you, David. 
And I got a six. Now I'm going to start getting back into the game. I'm telling you, at times, your cockiness of saying you're going to win is going to cost you. This might be the one where it really happens. Some of the other cockiness episodes where you show cockiness, you've surprisingly still won. This might be the one where it costs you, Sid. This could be it. Whatever. I am going to fucking win. It's going to go back to what I was doing of winning the dice rolls on this next one. Watch. See, I won that one. And watch it be back to getting sixes. Well, you didn't get it. Well, four is still damaging. That's definitely damaging. You're almost out of reinforcements. Oh, wait a minute. We're all that space. Even though, yeah, we're trying to keep them a bit linear, you still might put them all up. Y'all yeah, go ahead. All right, so David's out of reinforcements. So time to aim for that barricade. Four or higher on my next killing roll, which it's very likely I'm going to get it, then your barricade is gone. Not on this roll. Three. Snipe. I think that's only the second time the sniper got some action in this one. And I know you want to time the bombing correctly. I'll give you the signal when to do it, Sid. All right. Oh, double. Shit! Four to eight. Son of a bitch. I told you I could make some comebacks happen. Fuck you, David. I don't want to hear your bullshit anymore. Stop saying that. You always got to call what I say bullshit. Well, it is. No, that's what you do. You're the one who spouts it. Whatever. Fuck you. What, you want to get pissy with me? And I might as well fucking kill you if you don't stop right now. You're really starting to make me angry. You already are bad. Fuck you! Is that always gotta be your response to saying fuck you to me? Yeah, because it works. It's awesome. Because I'm more badass than you, brother. No, you're not. You're the one that's full of shit, Sid. You know it. You just refuse to admit it. You know it. I'm not full of shit. You are. And if you don't stop, and you say one more bullshit thing to me, I will fucking kill you. I'm going to knock your head off. Shove it up your own little ass. Little fucking bitch. Jesus, why make the anger rise already? Well, that's the nature of army men. Have you forgotten? Anger's a big part of it. Of course I haven't forgotten, dipshit. Oh, it's really rising now. Holy shit. Yeah, I won that dice roll, motherfucking bitch. Six of them. There we go. Or wait, no. We're killing the barricade guys. Then kill two regular ones. So get these two and the four guys. Four guys. Now go drop the barricade. Yeah, fuck your barricade. So David's barricade is out. Won that dice roll. It only got a two. And it ain't damaging yet. Because you still got plenty of my reinforcements to take out before you can even consider calling the two damaging. Another one for you. You're not getting shit, David. I really want to go over there and kill Sid right now. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, at this point, I am getting tired of it. So, yeah, fuck you, Sid. Who said that? I did. You're a normal fucking green. Why are you saying something? I'm allowed to talk, too. 
It's not limited to just you and David. We can talk too. Well, you have no right to be threatening me. Oh, yep, looks like it's raining outside. Yeah, I'm on that dice roll. Hopefully I get a good number. I'm going to take that little trash talker out. Because they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. And it's been quite a few episodes since I've referenced that. I've already said that plenty of times. That part from Internal Primates Forever by Mudvayne. I've said that part plenty of times. There's been a few episodes though since I said it. Yeah, I got a three. That will get him. Bye bye, little bitch. Now. Yeah, tactical bombing. <laughs> What the heck kind of bombing was that? It was a special tactical bombing. Thought of that one. So yeah, I am the true genius when it comes to the bombing. Because look at that. I took a lot of them out. And thanks to this little deal, I'm going to win. Oh no, I think he gave it away. Yeah, the clone said worried now. He actually did not want Sid to give it away. Wait a minute, a deal? Uh, what deal are you talking about? Did you make a deal with anybody? No. You said deal. No, I didn't. Let's just continue. I know you did. And I'm killing more of your men. Two. Let's break out. Well, David got a two, so it is likely Sid can win this unless he gets a one. Oh, it's a double. And I got the double. With that bombing, I'm definitely going to increase this even more. Two, that's four. Three. I know you said deal a bit ago, Sid. Let's forget about that, alright? No, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. No, you won't. Six. This battle is definitely going to be mine. There's no way I'm losing now. Yep, definitely raining outside. It's coming down. Yeah, I got you with the low number reversal. Winning, 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 winning. Watch out! Watch out! Hey, why are you slamming my men? I can do whatever I want. I can do what I want to be. You're not winning shit now, David. I've won a lot of consecutive dice rolls. So you're telling me I'm being cocky? I'm proving this right that I'm going to win. And that, with that bombing working so well, there is no way you're going to beat me now. And kill two of them. Oh, double. Damn it. I hate when this happens. <sighs> Falling off like that. Won the double. Four, that's eight. Right, that's four. Yeah, and you're gonna be shit out of luck. And you have reference in Stupefy by Disturbed. I know usually when I reference Stupefy, I say the prepare to get stupefied part, but. Actually did a different part of that song now. Actually, he doesn't say prepare to get stupefied in the song. I don't think so. I only just say it to like, just as like a little thing. But still somewhat referenced in the song. Yes, I know he doesn't say prepare to get stupefied. Even though I've said that plenty of times. But that shit out of luck part I just did. Yeah, that's in it. Oh, you're out of reinforcements now. Same thing for me. Four or higher yours is gone. You're not going to get it. 
Not on this turn, you're definitely not. Three of them. Novos Ordos Clitoris. I could get it here. Nope, you got three. But then that means anything I get on my next kill and roll, even a one, it's gone. Not on this turn. Two. Uh, straight in the fence. Anything I get, it's gone, even a one. Which I got a three. All right, there goes Sid's barricade. All right, there it goes. And both barricades are gone. Yeah, I got the high number reversal. Bing. Five of them. Do -do 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 -do. Shit! Five of them, god damn it. Yeah, I got the high number reverse on you, you little bitch. Oh, you wanna call me that now, huh? Three. Crap, man, don't start putting your heads on your asses. He's gonna catch up if you do. Stop accusing us of that. Hey, I can say what I want to you. I'm the leader and you're not. So, fuck you, you little asshole. Hey, you just knocked most of them over. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Small asshole. Yeah, I just blew your fucking head off. And we're still gonna win, even if I killed one of you. Yeah, you gotta remember though, some of the last battles in that losing streak, we lost because of that. It wasn't the primary reason. Well, it was one of them. And we might lose now because of that. No, we're not gonna lose. We're gonna fucking win. I'll prove to all of you that I can win no matter what kind of obstacle gets in my way. Because I have resilience in me. Yeah, I won that dice roll. Four of them. That's proof that we're going to win because we're still killing them. Double. Oh, shit. One at two. Get in the bag, you little bitch. Three. Any last words, David? Ain't over yet. It will be soon. Only one! I told you it was going to come back. There's your first crazy sound, only one freak out since the episode before the last one. Because you didn't do any of them at all in the last one. But it finally returned. I fucking told you it was going to come back. Whatever, that's only the first time. And again, I have to say it. Yeah, I know. Just because you make a crazy sound doesn't mean you've lost. You've said that plenty of times. We have never accused you of saying that you've lost for making a crazy sound. We have not said that to you a single time, Sid. So stop assuming that. And it proves me more right that you're the one who does the assuming shit around here. Whatever. I'm really fucking tired of you right now, David. Oh, another double. Yeah, I won that double, bitch, with a high number reversal. Six, that's 12. You are so gonna lose. It's in the bag, clone. It's in the bag. We're going to win because of you and this deal. You said it again. You're talking about a deal. I want to know what you're talking about right now. No, nothing's going on. You made a deal with somebody. 
You need to tell me what's up right now, Sid. You're making a deal with somebody. No. You said deal. Stop hiding it. Just go ahead and say it already so that way you'll have it off your chest. I don't have to. Yeah, I don't want that dice roll. I'm still going to find out. Four. Another double. Oh, gotcha with low number reversal. Two, that's four. Almost in the range. Damn it. Five. Yeah, I said got that one. Three. Come on, boys. You'll never find out about this deal. Double. Yes, but we can't get too high of a number now. Four to eight. Is there eight? Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. One guy left. You're going to lose, David. I'm going to beat you. And it's a laying down guy. Yeah, and he's going to start killing some men here. Four of them. Shit, I am not losing to a laying down guy. Can't do double now because of him. Stop laying on double. Another one. Five. What the fuck are you idiots doing? Why are you getting killed by a laying down guy? Hey, don't call us idiots or we're going to come up there and revolt you again. No, you're not, you little shit. Oh, and by the way, Sid, what? Pfft. What? How'd you know? Dude, you've done this so many times, I can tell when you put up a sniper. I knew he was there, and for the first time, I actually kill him before the battle's over. So he's out. You son of a bitch. I can't believe you found him. Hey, I found snipers in the past. I just never shot him before the battle was over before, but I wanted to do it there. What, try to get under my skin? Get the one. Now I need it. Damn it! Fact! Got no shot. Get the fucking one. Damn it! Okay, can't do double. Duh. Oh, come on, again? Alright, David got a six. Damn! Five of them. Come on, man! Can I get the fucking one already? I actually do need it now! Oh my god! I can't believe this is happening! I have to mention it again because we might have some intense dice rolls trying to get the numbers, so sorry if I don't say a lot. Oh my god, can I get that one already? Okay, 
Damn it. Four of them. We are not losing to a laying down guy. Why? Fucking shit. You get a one. Now can I get it? Oh come on dice, I'm not gonna make a crazy sound freak out if I get the one here, cause I actually do need it. Fuck! Freedom. Five. Three. Four. And I'm down to six, guys! What are you doing? You need to get your heads out of those asses now. I don't give a fuck what any of you say. You need to get them out now! Do not get the six. Four. Great, I have a laying down guy there too. Is it gonna be laying down guy versus laying down guy? Get the one. Fuck. Do not get the two. Missed. Missed again. Will anybody get their numbers? Yeah, and I said that as myself. One, I'm down to one, yep. Laying down guy versus laying down guy. Probably the most unusual matchup ever in Army Men series history for us is a laying down guy versus a laying down guy. Now let me get the one before he does. Ah! No, actually, you were needing the one the whole time. It was in the case where I would have needed the two to get you. See, you're freaking out over dice rolls again. Paranoid. No, I'm not. I'm not paranoid, fucker. No, you better not get the one. Missed. I was about to say, if you land on it right there, I can't believe you would have gotten yours so easily. Well, I'm going to make sure you don't. And by the way, I'm still going to find out what's going on with this deal. I haven't even said anything about it now. Well, you already said it plenty of times earlier. Something is going on. You're arousing suspicion. Now I'm going to find out what it is. God 
gotcha. Fuck. Get your ass down there, Sid. I'm gonna kill that little piece of shit. You're going down, you laying down guy. Can't do double because of the laying down guy. Get the one. No! Three, I'm at 17. Fourteen. Nine. Oh no, I am not losing like this. Get the one. Damn it. Oh, shit. You're in the range, you're at four. Prepare to say bye-bye. All that cockiness, this is going to prove me right. That your cockiness will definitely cost you big time here. In other battles where you had to cocky, plenty of them you surprisingly still won. This may be the difference here. It will cost you big time here. And if I do lose, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm telling you, cockiness can cost you. This is going to be it right here. To prove that celebrating too early can cost you. This is going to be it right here. On my next kill and roll if I get a four. Watch. You're not going to get it here. But you missed. Can't do double. This could be it right here. I can land on the four right here. So if I land on that four, it's over and you lose. You better not. Son of a bitch! Oh my god! I didn't even have a win streak. Now I'm back to losing again. I fucking told you. Cockiness cost you big time here, Sid. Celebrating too early cost you here. You may have won from that before, as you've said, but not this time. That's proof right there that you're not going to always win from celebrating too early and acting cocky. You fucking lost big time. So get the fuck out of here. Don't kick me. And you. Well, he won it for me. Oh, flag. Alright, get him in one attempt. Yeah. There we go. Of course not my flag over on me. You're so dead, David. You know what I'm going to do now to make sure you go down? What? Get pumped. Because I'm going to... I'm going to kill you. You can't kill me. You can't kill me either. Oh, by the way, in the episode where you completely snapped, how about I do something you did? Knocked you out with your own guy and I hit you in one throw. That proves I have better aim than you. You motherfucker. There is a good reason you're called motherfucker David. Because of shit like that. As the clone Sid would say. Wait a minute. Now that you mention him, you made a deal with him, didn't you? You better tell me the truth right now, Sid. You made a deal with Clone Sid. Oh shit, he knows. Answer me. Earth to Sid. What, you just gonna run? Get back here. Shit, he knows. And also, I lost the battle because of your shit. Ugh. 
Here he is. You. Yeah, I made a deal with him. I meant to do it in the last one. Because I actually had this plan since the end of the episode before the last one. Where I made a deal with him to hand him special tactics for bombings. Yeah, that's that bombing you saw earlier in the battle, David. That's what I used. And the sniper. Yeah, which I shot before the battle was over. He's fucking dead. Well, not completely. He's just done for this episode now. But you went behind my back, Sid. You made a deal with Clone Sid to try to ensure you a victory. Which, now, it would have worked better had you used him in the last one because you actually won that one. But here, you actually failed. Yeah, and thanks to him, his bullshit tactics didn't work for me here. So, I'll never make a deal with you again. Whatever, you just didn't use him at the right time. I did the bombing when you told me to. You gave me the command to do the bombing at that one point, I did do it. We didn't order the sniper enough for killing. Maybe we would have had a better chance had you done that. Whatever, just get out of here, you clone. I'm never making a deal with you again. So at least be glad I'm not doing this with him anymore, David. Yeah, but I'm still pissed at you that you wanted to try to do this behind my back. And so with that, the tactics failed. You had a loss again. So be prepared to say hello to a big losing streak again. Which will make it... Which with that now being said... Episode 148 will be your lone victory of the 140s because this was 149 that we did here. Next episode is 150. So you only won one episode in the 140s. That was 148. The rest of them I won. So the 140s were practically dominated by me. So the 140s are done now because next up the Halloween battle is 150. So we enter the 150s now. Son of a bitch. I will win that Halloween battle, though. Halloween battle 2021 will go to me. And also, I'm going to ruin the rest of your life. Why do you keep saying that? Because I can. And also, just like it was said at the beginning of this episode, the anti-Hulk serum has now pretty much worn off since we're at the end of this battle and episode. Yes, I'm not going to turn into him right now. But, next episode, I finally get to bring him back. Sid Hulk will finally make his return. It will be appearance number 6 for him in total. But first one since near the end of September. That long wait will finally be over. I'll bring him back. So, yeah, I feel it too. The Hulk serum has worn off. I don't feel like the anti-Hulk serum's in me anymore. Yeah, but like you said, you're not going to turn into him right now. Yes, I know that. I'm not going to turn into him now. Next episode though, he will be back. So, I'm out this bitch. Now, as for you, you little clone. Yeah, whatever you gotta say to me, David. I'm really not in the mood for it. I can't believe he struck a deal with you to try to ensure a victory. He would have had a better chance in the last one because since the episode before the last one was when the deal was made. And yet, nothing happened. I was still somewhat watching the battle even though I didn't say much. But... He wanted to try and get my help here, but he lost. And if he wants to try now like he doesn't need my help again, so be it. I'll make sure he's taken out, and then I'm going to get you too, David. Since you are buddy-buddy with Sid on that at least, that you two want to take me out. Yeah, we may not be teaming up right now, clone, but me and him do agree on that. That we both hate you. And Sid definitely hates you now, now that deal failed. That he didn't win. Your tactics are nothing but a bunch of bullshit. So, why don't you just get out of here right now? Fine. I'm out this bitch too. And I guess I'm out this bitch three. Alright, so that concludes this episode of Army Men. And, of course, tomorrow's the next cartoon review. That will be the last cartoon review for the week. And then, be ready next week for that. Where the pattern will alternate... Where next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be Army Men. And Tuesday and Thursday will be cartoon reviews. Now, as I've said, once I finish this series of Army Men, then all five weekdays will be cartoon reviews. And again, 
as I said in that last cartoon review pairing that I did on that channel, the reason why I do one show per week now, why this week I had done Spongebob, it helps to get multiple episodes of a show done each week. So that's why I feel fine with that, doing one show per week. So that way multiple episodes of said show can be done. So next week, yeah, Tuesday and Thursday will be Foster stuff, where the Tuesday and Thursdays will primarily be Foster stuff because each alternating week, the three days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, will go to Spongebob, and then the two days, Tuesday and Thursday, will go to Foster's. I am close to done with Foster's, though, because come next week, there's only one episode left of Season 5 of that I have to do, and then that Thursday, I'll do the ranking video for it, and then I'll be on the final season of it. So I'm almost done with that show. It will be the first show that I actually complete on the channel. All six of its seasons will be done. So... There's that, and then of course, Saturday coming up will be a sole, I don't know if it will be the sole exception, but it will be an exception, because uploads in general on the weekends, I'm probably not going to do much now. Like, if I were to do any kind of uploading, it will probably be for still moving other army men uploads to the Nation channel. But no kind of newer uploads will happen much on the weekends, but this one will be an exception, where Saturday will be the Halloween battle on the 30th, since, as I said near the beginning of the video... On the 31st, on Halloween, on Sunday, I'll be going to a fair. So, I'll have to do the Halloween battle on Saturday. But I'm alright with that. So, anyways, that concludes this episode of Army, and I'll see you guys next time.